Welcome to episode 2 of Color Yourself Calm. And in this episode, I'm going to answer a question from a viewer. One of you asked how to color larger areas and backgrounds in a, in a coloring in a coloring book, for example. And uh, first I'm going to show you a couple of examples that I have done myself and then I will show you um, how I build backgrounds um, with color pencil. This is a drawing from Joanna Besford's um, Enchanted Forest and I made this one with Carandash Luminance pencils and these are very strong colored pencils and uh, as you can see I was able to mix and blend beautifully so this is a strong version of color you can also do a more subtle uh, version I'll show you and in this book, also Joanna Besford, Secret Garden. This is a double page and I colored this one with Brownsville Design colored pencils. The first set of colored pencils that I owned, I got them about 20 years ago. And these pencils are absolutely wonderful when it comes to layering and i hope you can see it it's you can make very very subtle uh, subtle colors and subtle gradients i think you say that the colors flow from one to the other so this is typical brownsill design and let me show another one and this one from Magical Jungle, I did with all sorts of pencils, uh, mainly Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, but also Erogeton, Carandash Luminance. There's a little bit of everything in here. It's a much stronger outcome. And as you can see, I try to make the background as smoothly blending as possible and I think uh, it worked out well. So now I'm going to show you in another uh, drawing that I'm doing that is in work of in working progress and I'll show you how I did that. This is a drawing I'm working on right now. And I'm using Arteza colored pencils, Arteza Expert colored pencils. And they are not the easiest pencil to blend, to layer, but it is possible. And that's exactly the reason that I'm showing you with this type of pencil how you can create nice backgrounds. Here in this area there, there is no color yet, so I think that's a great um, place area to show you how it's done. And I'm starting out with a lighter blue periwinkle from the Arteza Expert series. And I'm using a very light touch. And because these pencils are a little bit more waxy than the other ones that I own, except for uh, uh, Prismacolor, they are waxy too, I use this very light touch because as soon as the wax uh, seals the paper, so to speak, you can it becomes uh, a lot more difficult to blend. So I'm really using this very, very light touch, as you can see. Uh, 
I'm slightly covering the colors that are already there here. You can hear a little bit of background noise because the neighbors, they are uh, putting uh, solar panels on their roof and you can hear the men working. They are moving around uh, roof tiles, roof tiles, is that the word? Well, anyway, so if you hear some noise, it's the workmen working. They are still able to work here in the Netherlands, despite uh, the Corona crisis that is hitting Europe very badly and the United States also and lots and lots of parts of the world also. Let's pick another color and um, let's try some green and the nice thing about these backgrounds is that you can be as creative as you want. Just Blend and mix all the colors you want. This is mint. I think I want to make quite strong contrast here to let this flower pop out. So I'm going to use complementary colors. This is reddish. The opposite color in the color wheel of red is green and I think I'm also going to make it really really dark. I think I like that. But let's start with this medium green just to see how things look. Yeah, this uh, Corona crisis really asks for a lot of calmness and persistence and a lot of social distancing. And this morning we had a briefing from the government, from the advisors of the government, I have to say. The outbreak management team, that's how they call these people who are uh, leading the Netherlands through this horrible ordeal. And uh, there is uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Unfortunately, my recording audio device uh, stopped recording, so let's try again. Indigo. I don't know at this point what my recorder actually recorded, so I'll just repeat what I said. I was uh, talking about uh, the corona situation in the Netherlands and uh, slowly the situation is uh, coming to uh, to a point where things are uh, improving it's going very very slowly and uh, the main problem right now is the capacity of the hospitals they are working very hard in our hospitals to uh, keep up with the flow of patients coming in, especially the situation on the ICUs, the intensive cares, intensive care units. But um, overall, it looks like there's and uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Let's pick another color. I am going for this one. Charcoal. Almost black. And I should do some sharpening, especially when I'm coloring in a tiny area like this. So let's do the sharpening. 
This looks much better. Last week the situation in a province called North Brabant was uh, problematic. But uh, the numbers from that province are very pro promising. It looks good over there. Things are really improving. But now the province where I live, South Holland, uh, the numbers are uh, going up a little bit. So let's hope uh, everybody uh, will stick to the measures and uh, then we will beat this virus, uh, virus. Stay home and color. That's the best thing we can do right now. And we need to keep calm. Keep calm, do what you're told, and color. As you can see, I'm slowly adding more and more color here to make this look, look darker. Now I'm going to pick a warmer blue this one, ultramarine, it's a warm blue. Let's see what that will do here. That is a little bit out of what I was saying before that I wanted to do complementary colors. Then I should add a more greenish tone if I would like to do the complementary color thing, but I feel like a touch, I feel that a touch of pink, uh, purple, warm blue might look nice. So I'm just slowly adding the next layer. Although the pencil is having trouble adding color because there are already a couple of layers here, I will not try to push too hard. I will try to not push hard. Keep it light. And the most important skill for making backgrounds like these is not a light touch but it is patience. This takes a lot of time. But if you are willing to, uh, to take the time, your end result will be just beautiful. And here we go with the Aegean blue. Uh, yeah, Aegean blue again. There's a lot of green in this pencil. Look at that. There we go. The magic is starting to happen. Let's Besides the bad news these days, there's also good news. For example, because everybody is home, uh, people are starting to do uh, really nice things for kids. And uh, in several countries, uh, they are doing a bear hunt for children. It's really lovely. There's there's a book. We're going on a bear hunt. 
and the story is about a couple of kids and their father who are going out on a bear hunt and then suddenly they find a bear, a bear. and based on that story people are putting teddy bears um, in their windows so the small kids when they go out for a while because they all have homeschooling right now they're in indoors all the time they can go out with their parents and can go on bear hunt they can go look for bears for teddy bears the children just love it such a nice idea and uh, what i found in my neighborhood also children doing uh, making drawings with chalk on the pavement uh, like rainbows and then they write down everything's gonna be okay or they say hello they make beautiful drawing with chalk on the pavement near a, uh, a nursing home and then they write down uh, hello we're thinking about you something like that it's really nice really nice let's change the camera a little bit because over here i want to see if i can do some blending here the, from blue to green this is um, lime and light green I think over here I need to do some work. Let's use this one, Camel. It's a brownish green. Well, did you hear that? The workmen are, uh, they are working on the roof. and you can combine any colors that you like it's making backgrounds like these I really find it uh, really relaxing you don't have to think about uh, it, it's, it, you cannot make a mistake just keep your light touch, your patience and you can do anything but it takes a long time as you can see but for example over here there's absolutely 
I love this here and here the glowing blue and that happens after four or five layers it's just wonderful I love it here this one beautiful The next few weeks you will not only see Color Yourself Calm videos, but also videos about Arteza materials, because Arteza sent me some stuff, really, really nice stuff. New products, products in their uh, line, in their shop. And I must say, Arteza is a great, great um, is a great brand when you're starting out, uh, or when you do not have uh, the money, or do not want to spend a lot of money on your hobby. And Arteza has some extraordinary uh, here Robin Egg Blue, some extraordinary things, paints, pencils for the beginner. Like these pencils here, they are really cheap. They are not expensive, and. Uh, they are of very decent quality. You cannot compare them with Faber-Castell Polychromos, for example, but you can do great things with them. I will put a link in the description of this video, so if you want to try them, you can order them. And if you do that via with the link that I uh, put here in the description of the video, then I make a little bit of commission. I get a little bit of money from Arteza. So that's nice. That allows me to buy new stuff. There are a couple of things that I have on my wish list. As you can hear, I'm slowly increasing the pressure right now. Well, let's take a step back and let's put my pencil back. Let's see. I will add a little more layers over here. I started out with the periwinkle blue, I believe. Let's work on that a little bit more. This is just the very first layer with a light touch. And with backgrounds like these, I like making patchworks of color. So no, I'm not using uh, uh, the same color everywhere. I'm mixing and putting 
different colors next to each other like this one lemon I already have a little bit of yellow here else apricot why not springtime is here in the Netherlands the front garden is uh, starting to bloom we have um, forget-me-not flowers I believe that is the, the name in, in uh, English Forget me not, they are blue, blue, tiny blue flowers, beautiful. And the tulips are about to bloom, the daffodils, they are already uh, deteriorating, they bloomed the last couple of weeks, beautiful. And a lot of Trees are starting to uh, grow leaves. I love green. I love green leaves. Nope. And the weekend is going to be beautiful, hot weather. Now for some people that will be uh, a challenge because uh, these days we cannot go anywhere. We are not allowed to go to the beach. Lilac. Many cities and towns glow closed their beaches because too many people are gathering there right now and that is not good for the war against the virus so they close the beaches and the people are being warned when they go walking in the forest when there are many people so although we have beautiful weather coming we need to stay home now in our case, in my case, that's not a problem. We have a garden, so that's good. We will enjoy ourselves in the garden. I think we will start uh, the barbecue season. Just put some meat on the barbecue and uh, enjoy a meal outdoors. I think we can do that. Uh, let's pick some pink. Here I have fruit punch. Now I'm using this technique of layering with uh, all the pencils that I have, all the brands. It's al almost every time the same, the same technique. Light touch and lots and lots of layering.
the choir that I'm singing in is uh, not rehearsing right now. That is forbidden. But last night we had a uh, conference call. Many members were online and uh, my brother who is uh, also a musician, he's a singer, he had a great talk about uh, musical history. Here, amethyst, a dark, a dark purple. He told us and showed us examples of uh, a thousand years of choral music, how it started and how it evolved. Because a thousand years ago the music sounded really different than what it sounds like right now. So he had a really nice uh, talk with uh, videos to show us examples of different uh, time periods. It was really nice. We're not singing right now. I am not singing right now either. I shoot, I have to say. But I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that will come again. Mykonos. Mykonos blue. Mykonos is a beautiful place in Greece. It's an island, I believe. I've never been there, but I went to Greece to Crete, the island of Crete, the island of Rhodos, and the very mysterious island Santorini. Santorini is the island. It used to be a large volcano, but then a couple of thousand years ago it exploded. You can see, still see the remnants of this volcano and a new volcano building up in the, on the shores. Our summer holidays will be uh, the end of September, late September, early October. But to be honest, I am not convinced yet that that holiday is going to happen. We are planning to go to uh, the east coast of the United States, but with the situation right now... Ah... Uh, I'm not sure. I hope it's going to work. I hope by then we are all living in our normal lives again. But this is charcoal. charcoal. No, I'm not sure if that is going to happen.
we were planning on going to uh, New York as well. But there's a crisis going on right now, so... Here I have a beautiful color called Pear. I love these earthy green tones. Look at that. Just starts glowing. Lovely. And in this area there's only one layer of color, so I'm adding the second layer right now. And you really need four, five, six, seven layers. And here I have another beautiful dark green, Jade. Now this is all about patience. So, as you can see, it takes a long time and um, it's impossible to show you in this video the end result because that would take too long, but this is how it's done and when it comes to the layering, I layer until it's no longer possible to layer. There comes a point where the paper is completely saturated with pigment and wax and then you will find that it's almost impossible to add more color to the uh, to the paper. Ultramarine Look at that, I love it what happens here. Look at that. So here you can see the magic happening. Just keep layering and then suddenly you feel, you see the saturation happening, which is lovely. And here there's an area that is a little bit problematic because it is saturated right now, almost, and it looks a bit scratchy. I hope you can see. So let's see if I can smooth things out. Here I have the charcoal. Yeah, this area is really saturated. I 
I'm not covering the saturated areas, I'm covering next to the saturated areas. That looks better already. And there's more news, exciting news. Well, at least I find it exciting. I love comets and there's a comet coming. I love comets, so I hope um, it's going to work out with this one. I would love to see one. So the last part of this video I had to do uh, a voiceover because uh, the recording device was having issues again. And uh, well, let's do it as a voiceover. So this is the page so far. I really like how this is coming together. I like the vibrancy and uh, that's the area that I worked on. And as you can see, I, it was a small part in this video. So what you really need when you do backgrounds like these, you need patience, 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 patience. And then in the end you get uh, a result that looks like this. And um, well, I need to do some more work as you can see but uh, well I have one bad habit and that is not finishing coloring pages so uh, I'll, uh, I'm, I will promise right now that I will finish this one. I hope you like this episode and uh, I wish you uh, happy coloring and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye!